Good morning everybody. Um, today's hike is going to be uh, Dublin Mountains Way. Well, probably just half of it from um, from here, from Tala, from Shamwash Park, I think, till uh, the other ferry castle. And when I get there, I join back the Wicklow Way, Mountains Way, and get down to uh, Mali Park. I mean, this is the plan so far. Um, just get up the Lewis and uh, see the one sign there to follow uh, which was saying Dublin Mountains Way so I hope I'm still in the right place I think this is gonna be again the hardest part to actually get out of the city um, yeah weather is not too warm it's a bit chilly and windy um, yeah but I think it's gonna be all right well yeah probably gonna be more much more windy up there in the up there in the mountains in the, in the forest but anyway i got my jumper on i'm in uh, in my bag uh, hoodie and um i have a long sleeve trousers as well just in case um yeah so first thing i have to find the actual starting point which is just beside the stadium i think but I'm not actually I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. Well we'll see. Okay, so basically when you see this blue footbridge over the over the road, this is the right way you have to go. But to be honest, there's no sign here. Nothing. Alright, so I crossed this uh, blue um, bridge and um, after that you have to turn uh, right no just for, no, I have to cross the, the park and then you turn right to this little road just behind the stadium I think this is the right way um, I mean there's no signs at all nothing not so nothing in this park which shows you that you are on the Dublin mountains way only first sign you see was just in the in the lower stop and after that nothing made it to the to the Tala starting point basically and um, yeah so when you cross that little footbridge walk over a little hill turn right just follow the road and at the end of the road you on your right hand side on the left hand side you're gonna see a little lake you can go inside have a look few ducks there few birds but after that you end up here in the starting point of this um, trail um, yeah Let's do it. A bit chilly, to be honest. Yeah, so it's a little bit confusing here because there are a good few roundabouts after you get out of the second park. Fucking oh, hell, it's so windy. I hope you can still hear me and stuff. Anyway, yeah, so you passing by just some residential areas and then uh, two roundabouts the second one you turn left and hopefully I am gonna see some sort of sign here very soon which will show me the right way out of Tala alright so this is where you're coming from from the second uh, roundabout after that a good few nice graph here and you see there's a tiny little yellow man sign there that this is where you turn right just before the Caliper Woods Care Center and Coffee sign. So when you come in down this little side road, you're gonna up you can end up in the car park of this um, um what is this some sort of a healthcare center, probably some private space. And yeah, there's a little gate on the left. That's where you come in. Alright, you see again, it is, you can go this way or you can go either this way but there was no sign at all or maybe I just didn't see it um, yeah, I don't know, I go left 
uh, hopefully that's the right one. Yeah, fucking Nazis. All right, so turns out, um, yeah, we got on the right way. So when I turned left, I, I had to turn left. And now you are out of this park, just cross the road, and then you're in another park, I think. And still no sign, you know, there's no sign at all of this little yellow man that uh, which way do you have to go. Um, yeah, so I have this up. I think it's called High Key. And trying to check that. And uh, Google Maps as well at the same time. So. So we are in the right place. This is called. Oh, and Abrena whatever reservoir and I think there is gonna be a big big lake here somewhere inside yeah now I'm happy I can I sing car I've seen cows and then I'm out of the city. Um yeah that's what I wanted. sleeping there with the ships yeah all right so we get to this I have no idea how to pronounce reservoir and um, yeah huge let's have a look on this side first Wow looks pretty cool and then we have this um, yeah, a little chair here, a little bench, and then we have the lake here. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a five minutes break here. Um, yeah, I wanna take a piss somewhere here beside these rocks as well. But there was an old man following me. Okay, he's there, he's leaving, he's not coming in. Cool, so yeah, I can let him go ahead because I don't like when you know somebody just behind you. All right, so, fun fact. So this reservoir, little lake thing, um, so it's basically two, there's an upper and a lower. I think this one was the upper, the smaller one. And now we cross and then somehow uh, get to the other side. So we're gonna be on the lower one. And fun fact, so it supplies more than 18 million liters of water every day for Dublin city which is obviously just a small contribution for all the, for all the water needs for a citizen like this Okay, so here behind me, this is the upper reservoir, the upper lake. And um, yeah, so now the map says that I am going to be just walking, no, this side, just through the whole part of the lake till the end of it. And uh, yeah, somewhere on the way, I'm gonna find a nice spot to sit down by the lake. I have a sample or something. Just 
just take a little break there. Um, yeah, only a few people I met so far, luckily. And the weather is quite nice actually, so it's calm, not so windy here. The grass is uh, wet, so my shoe is getting wet already, but what can we do? Gorgeous view, really nice, look at this. Just had a little, like, nice little break here. Um, sandwich. Let me book a little bit. And now I'm heading on. Just following the path here, just by the lake. And hopefully soon I'm gonna get to the High Fire Club. That's gonna be the next stop, I hope. Um, yeah, so now I'm out from the reservoir, from the lake, and according to the map, how I'm gonna get up to Montpellier here to the uh, to this to see the Half Fire Club, I'm gonna have to go back some roads and go upwards, up up here, and yeah, nice little gaffs, few places around. And yeah, I've been on my way for like um, uh, what now? I left half eleven. Now it's half one. Yeah, so it's only two hours, and probably a good few hours left. So imagine living here it would be really nice. Eh? Wake up for a view every day like this. I love that, but there's no signal, there's no reception here, there's no anything, but you know, you have the nature. Amazing view we have here. Well, behind the tree, obviously. 
yeah so look that is the lake where I was done like an hour ago a nice hair in the back some ships here looks really cool this is what I love the Irish countryside it's just so green it's gorgeous it's really nice yeah so now heading up to this hill somewhere on the right hand side and then um, to the half fire club after that but this is just I don't know I can't I can't get enough of this view it's really nice Colors here are unbelievable. So green. All right, so I'm here in the middle of nothing, basically, and nobody around. At least nobody walking. I've seen two cars passing by, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I still can't find the uh, the, the high fire club. I mean, the way there. There was no signs. Nothing. Another car coming only cars I don't know why anyway so I'm gonna have to uh, check if I have reception so I can check online on the map. and it's getting cold up here so I don't know hopefully I get that soon because I'm really interested about that one I don't want to miss out that and it's what time is it let's see and uh, nearly three o'clock already and I think I'm not even halfway Jesus, it's gonna take a while to finish this walk, even to the, even just here at the ferry castle. All right, anyway. Christmas tree field. Um, yeah, just Christmas trees around like this. It's so weird, there's nobody. <laughs> road or oh, these pine trees feels like we're not even in Ireland feels like we are in I don't know in Norway or Sweden or I don't know really cool I love this kind of roads so I could only hope that I'm nearly there because I don't think I'm at the right uh, right road because this road is fucking busy cars coming every two minutes um, I asked somebody a cyclist that uh, um, is it the right way to the half fire club and he said yeah 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 two more kilometers it's fine the only thing I have to find out after that how do I get back to the Dublin mountains way I don't really want to go back on this road because this is fucked up this is a big busy road cars coming on and on and again so yeah i'm gonna try to find since something on a map like i have to go through some mary's estate i don't know what is that and where is it I'm on this Montpellier hill, or what's it called? Um, hopefully, very soon I'm gonna get to the fire club. 
high, the view is great, yeah. Um, yeah, very windy and cold here. My hands are freezing, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go up there. Hopefully, it's not too far away. And then uh, start, have a sandwich and get down and try to find a way back to the Dublin Mountain Way. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we are. Yeah. Well, smaller than smaller than expected, but looks haunted enough. If I walked up here, I hope I just meet some ghosts. Let's go inside. Okay. There's not much here. Well, it looks scary, yeah, that's true. because I'm gonna fucking shit myself. Okay, so I'm in this Mesa's Estate Forest and yeah, it's not as cold here as it was up there on the hill and um, yeah, now it's like one and a half kilometer I have to find like a river sidewalk here somewhere and then uh, join back the Dublin Mountains way We can do this! Okay, that was too much, but anyway uh, Yeah, it was just, just too cold up there on the High Fire Club Probably Next time, if I ever come back there, I will come back in the evening because that would be much more scary, you know. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm just gonna go down here, I think, or not. Maybe God knows. I think in this forest I have to come this way. Uh, well, I'm not sure, but we'll find out in a minute anyway. Whoa! It's 4 o'clock. 
be worried, you know, like how long is it gonna take me to get to Ferry Castle and from there as well, you know, back to town. Oh shit. That could take us a good few minutes as well. Where is the river here? Alright. So I'm still in this forest trying to find my way back to the main road and to the Dublin Mountains Way. I still have to get to Ferry, uh, Ferry Castle and from that uh, back to Marley Park somehow and it's already half four. Jesus, I don't know what time I'm gonna finish today with all this walk. Already 23 kilometer and I'm not even not even close to finish. I got lost a few times, so... But... Not many things are well marked here, you know, so... This is for educational purposes. Don't do like this. <laughs> Just a little update. Um, yeah, it's almost five o'clock. I just got out of that forest there, uh, just beside the Hellfire Club. Wow, hey! And oh, it's very cold at the moment. And um, yeah, I got out from there. It wasn't easy, to be honest, but I managed. And after that, um, I was thinking, like, all right, I'm gonna take the trail, you know, up to Ferry Castle. And then from there we go away down to Miley Park. But it's not gonna happen because there was the gate, gate there. And the whole thing was locked. Probably, I think I read earlier that they're doing some sort of um, works on the trail or something. So I can't go that way. I don't want to go into the forest again. So what I'm gonna do, just finish for today. And... Uh, Try to follow the road. Here on the road, I have Google Maps, so I'm just following the road back to M50, cross somewhere, and then into Mali Park, and then take the bus home. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to Ferry Castle. Maybe if I wouldn't have done this uh, half fire club uh, extra four or five kilometer uh, loop, then I would have much more time. But I just don't want to risk it, you know, to to end up being in the road, I mean in the forest at, at uh, night without any warm clothes, because it's already cold and shit, you know. And, you know, Dublin is there, somewhere down, so I'm not close at all. It says, if I go on the road, seven kilometers for Mary Park. Um, it's not that bad, but, you know, considering that I already Let's see that I already done today 25 so that's gonna be another 7 Yeah Alright so the last update um, I got a bus somewhere on the way back from half Fire Club on the road. Uh, so 175 to Tala. Do I stop? Then I went into the horrible shopping center there to get a few cans. And then now I'm just gonna stop by here on the way home in Bluebell and um, going to Fuchs's Gaff to have a few drinks and just to warm up a little bit because it was fucking freezing outside but it's still so yeah that's it for today and i hope you really enjoyed this little trip i got lost a few times it wasn't well marked so 
other people get could they lost as well. Uh, yeah, but other than that, 31 kilometers, good seven hours trip, it was very good. I'll see you on the next one. Just one more word, completely knackered. So can't wait to open again. Anyway, it's Friday night. I bet you all do the same. All right, enjoy yourself, people, and see you in the next video. Right? Bye.